Well, hello there. Welcome to Meeting Expectations. Now, what we do here is we take a look at a can or a bottle of beer. Sometimes a wine or a spirit might drop by. We're all friends in fermentation. We take a look at the label, reread everything on the label, check out the artwork, see what they're trying to sell us, crack it open and see if it meets expectations. A few things though first, all beer should be served at the correct temperature, lagers between 37 and 47 degrees Fahrenheit, and ales between 50 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. I use a Thermoworks thermometer, that way we can test the temperature for all of our beers. Another thing, we always use the same glassware for all of our beers, that way nobody has a leg up when it comes to clarity or aromatics. And finally, most folks when they do a tasting, they will take a look. They will sniff, they will sip, and they will pontificate. Well, I'll pontificate for you, but I tell you, I'm going to sip before I sniff. Why? I'll let wine expert Fred Dax explain it all to you. He does a lot better than I do. All right, <clears throat> what do we got here today? from the Bronx a Brewery. Okay, fellows up in the Bronx there. They are turning out, this is a, let's see, it's a Perico Limited, PLTD. Smile, my guy, happy hoppy IPA. One pint, 5% alcohol by volume. So it's a smile, my guy. And that's about what he's doing, he's smiling. Let's see what else I've got to say. Okay, it's uh, 16 ounces. India Pale Ale, light body, citrus hops, hoppy vibes. Brewed by the Bronx Brewery, Bronx, New York. TheBronxBrewery.com at Bronx Brewery. Please recycle. Uh, there's a scan me box right there if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Uh, barcode, a government warning that I should not be a pregnant woman operating heavy machinery. Uh, label designed by Streetwear Brand at Perico Limited, P-E-R-I-C-O Limited. So that's the artwork on there. All right, well, that doesn't tell us too much other than it is a light body, citrus hops, happy, vi hoppy, happy vibes, uh, India Pale Ale. Okay, uh, light body. Okay, well, that might mean it is not, uh, it's not hazy. No, it's got to be hazy. <coughs> We got a, a, a hazy, medium-bodied. Uh, when I say a, uh, they've got the citrus hops uh, or citrus flavor, it, it's citra hops and um, refreshing, and um, you know something that you just might enjoy having with a few friends, especially at just five percent alcohol. All right, well, let's crack it open and see if it meets those expectations. All right, yeah, it's not it's not a hazy, hazy one, not at all. I'm getting some whoosh, whoosh. I'm getting something, hey Chris, oh, yep. I'm getting an aromatic right there. Well, it looks like an IPA. Let's see if it tastes like an IPA. Whoa, temperature, my friends. Whoa, it's a little chilly. It's 43 degrees Fahrenheit, so should be 50. So it might be hiding some of its aromas and flavors. So we're just gonna have to let it work its way out, okay? So, well, it looks like an IPA. It's a little chilly for an IPA, but let's see if it tastes like one. Yes, I, I took two sips because it's uh, around two o'clock in the afternoon on a Monday and my taste buds, th they take a siesta. They're asleep. They need to be woke. Well, they're woke now. Let's see what their olfactory friends have to say. Yeah, I'm getting some lemon rind there. That's, that's for sure. Lemon zest. Not so much the rind, but the zest. Mm, that's a nice one. Let's see what the taste buds have to say. Yeah. There's lemon there. Not not really overt, in-your-face lemonade type lemon, but that tang, that nice sharpness that uh, Citra hops um, does give it. And boy, ooh, that's nice. It, it, I wouldn't say it's one note. 
but it's, it is, it's almost a single, I hope it's a single malt or hop. Um, boy, it's, it's so well balanced. That is a neat thing, and the body is very is is, is light. It's not a one of those those uh, thick ones. No, no, that's a nice beer. Okay, so does Smile, my guy. Happy hoppy IPA from the Bronx Brewery. Uh, meet expectations. It certainly does. If you enjoyed this presentation, please click on the subscribe button and the bell. That way, you won't miss any of our presentations. Share us with your friends, and a thumb up would be really great. And by the way, I'm thinking about doing a numerical order as far as rating beers, say from 0 to 10. If you think it's a good idea, please leave a comment in the box below. I'm Pete LaFrance, the Old Growler, hoping all of your beers meet expectations.